Welcome to Skepticistan. Population 1488. I am working on two videos. The first covering the events in Syria as well as its reaction, and the second being my response to Uzalu's response. However, all that must wait, because today we have unimportant internet drama. Now as you may know, Sargon has been off the fucking gop lately. He has been creating a divide in his own skeptic community, but we'll get to that later. Sargon's actions, mostly being on Twitter, has caused many people to go after him, as he has spewed a lot of right-wing rhetoric while being a self-proclaimed left-winger, as well as his admitted bias to not criticize the right, for the reason that, unlike the left, they aren't trying to tear down Western society or whatever. Now, many are calling him alt-right, and even some are just throwing names at him, such as Reddit. Or, as I like to call it, hell. They like to call him a Nazi or racist fascist or whatever the fuck. Personally, if he calls himself left and claims to be in support of some social reforms, I would just consider him to be a moderate social democrat. He certainly isn't a Corbinite, but he isn't a Blairite either. Now sure, he supports the Vietnam War and thinks communists are worse than fascists, but are we forgetting who the social democrats are? It was Frederick Ebert's social democrats who called them the Fry Corps, and the American Social Democratic Party supported the Vietnam War. So I mean, his words aren't out of character. Now recently this controversy has become relevant to us, as Sargon lately has been going on rage-filled rants against us evil commies, because we are all evil and bad people. The good thing is we don't need to worry about helicopters, as he is a social democrat, but we don't have to worry about the Fry Corps either, because all his fans are like 12. On Good Friday, I logged onto my Twitter, and I see Zexizi and Sargon are in another Twitter fight. And then I see this. Leftist revolutionary George Soros, he's a literal capitalist. What mental gymnastics are- I can't do a Zexizi voice. Why would he want socialism? Why the fuck does he promote neo-Marxist bullshit everywhere he goes if he's such a fucking capitalist? That is Sargon of Akkad claiming that George Soros, an actual capitalist, is some sort of leftist revolutionary Marxist. Now, at this point, Sargon, there is just so much wrong with this that you need to fucking do something about the pile of manure sitting between your ears. You need to blow that shit the fuck away. A large caliber is recommended. A uh, 50 AE ought to do it. Now, okay, he is using this neo-Marxist bullshit. And I did an entire video that was directed to you as well as that faggot snow cone. All debunking that stupid social Marxist slash cultural Marxist garbage. But now, we are just gonna use a different word. Not to mention that neo-Marxism is associated with economists such as Kalecki. And since Kalecki stresses on monopoly rather than on competition, Soros is probably the guy Kalecki would hate the most. But also, if a rich capitalist is spreading some sort of neo-Marxist doctrine, what other reason would it be than to sabotage Marxism? If the SJWs are a result of neo-Marxism, then logically SJWs are a capitalist ploy. But the worst of it, and I pointed this out on Twitter, George Soros is a student of Karl Popper, who was the influence for the Open Society. Now, Popper was a Marxist socialist for a short time, and was part of the Association of Socialist Students and the Social Democratic Workers' Party of Austria, which at the time was Marxist. However, apparently, he was only a Marxist until he found out that cops would shoot at him for it. After a street demonstration where eight unarmed members of his party were shot, he left Marxism for he thought that Marx's historical materialism was pseudo-scientific. Karl Popper then left for liberal democracy and capitalism, saying that it was the greatest political system for humanity. Essentially, he was a Fukuyamist before Fukuyama. So ironically, while Sargon claims that Soros has a Marxist-slash-leftist background, the ideology of Soros and the Open Society is pure neoliberalism influenced by Popper. See, the reason Soros supports socially progressive causes is because as capitalism expands globally, the dominant ideology under capitalism must globalize as well. Therefore, liberal progressivism becomes the dominant ideology. This is why if you pay attention, we have articles like, 
Sorry, Pepsi haters, but social justice needs capitalism, and economic inequality complaints are just a cover for anti-rich prejudice. Ironically, Popper is a big positivist, and someone Sargon would probably like. I mean, falsifiability seems right up Sargon's alley. However, I think my multiple tweets to Sargon got at him, as a while later he tweeted this. Get fucked! All communists are bad people, which is why everyone hates you. You lie and defame all the time. You chose this, so suck it up. You know, it's a shame, because if Sargon wasn't so lulzy towards the far left as he is, we brochalists wouldn't mind him all that much. We might have even liked him. But since he can't differentiate between blatantly stupid SJWs and identitarians, and actual Marxists and anarchists, we both hate each other. I mean, Sargon could have been looked at more like shoe on head or Kraut and tea. Hell, Kraut even invited me to his server. He's a good guy. Also, one cool thing about Shoe on Head, well, is for one, she actually has feminine tits, but she is actually self aware. Fucking hell, Sargon, you probably make videos with like Cheeto crumbs and stains on your shirt while you go, Oi, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Oi, Pierre, you filthy commie, I hate you. Go die, fuck you. I'm from fucking Winchester. And then he gets Uzulu on and he's like, Clancy, fuck you! You don't fucking realize I'm using another bloody fucking definition! But no, seriously, all Anglo Saxons need to be euthanized. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Fucking hell! You selfish little brat! for disrespecting me, as you have done. Now, I mentioned a split in the skeptic community. Some anti-SJW progressives split with Sargon of Akkad. This, uh, started with whatever drama went between harmful opinions and Sargon of Akkad. However, more recently, an anti-SJW YouTuber by the name of Spinosauruskin, or Spino, made a parody account of Sargon of Akkad named Hardon for Assad. Uh, this made Sargon angry. Like, really, really angry. Fucking hell. Yes, I won't be associating with you. Because you are atrocious. You're not trustworthy. In fact, we know that you are not trustworthy. In fact, you seem to be deliberately deceiving people. Uh, this caused a split. The notable skeptic stayed on Sargon's side and either supported him or didn't even comment. Whereas other skeptics, such as Nightmare Fuel, the outspoken realist, demotivator opinion and harmful opinions, went to Spino's side. Now you may be thinking, me, Pierre Chudank, the destroyer of Fedoras, the ultimate brochalist anti-anti-SJW, would be on the bandwagon with these chaps, right? Well, wrong. I was originally, I made the account Carl of Mossad, which you should follow, by the way, uh, to join in with the fun. But then I realized something. Something very dubious. See, all these anti-SJW progressives who were against Sargon all shared one trait. One thing that put them against Sargon. That is, they are all anti-Assad shills. That is right, these left-wingers were anti-Assad, many of them even supporting Donald Trump's intervention. They even think the Syrian government did the sarin gas attacks. Which I mean, like, how many levels of unwoke can you be on? You aren't even broke at that point. Hell, you aren't even dead. You're just basically fucking non-existent. Hell, it's fucking dubious whether or not there was even sarin gas there. But you actually think the Syrian government did it? Good goy. Good prole. Now, Spino isn't this bad, but many of his friends are straight-up fucking neoconservatives. Take this tweet from the outspoken realist. I can finally say Trump did something right. The best part is that his skeptic apologists will say I'm wrong. Funny how this self-described outspoken leftist supports intervention on behalf of the United States for the purpose of building empire. All because he wants to take out some guy he doesn't like, and doesn't want to be associated with 
crazy alt-right fascists. Let's look at another of Spino's friends, by the name of Nightmare Fuel, or Reese. Reese here is a supporter of intervention against the Syrian government, and even calls himself a war hawk, and opposes isolationism, because apparently it's just some more alt-right crazy talk. He also dares to call himself a leftist. Hell, I would consider Black Acid Lizard a better leftist than this fucking shill for capitalist empire building in the settler state of Israel. You will notice he even says he is an honorary neocon. That actually came from an exchange he and I had where I accused him of being a neocon. God damn, Spinosaurus Kin's neocon cuck gang is making me like Sargon now. I imagine anyone looks like a neocon when you're a commie. Shove that hammer and sickle up your ass, you brain-dead child. Neocons actually came from social democrats and Trotskyists who started to support wars for democracy against evil dictators. So therefore, it would be cause for worry in a post-Iraq and Libya world for liberals to start pushing this rhetoric. Not at all! It's preferable over the rampant isolationist cowardice. He at first thought it was that crazy old leftist exaggeration. You know, like calling people Nazis. I explained that neoconservatism was not necessarily a far-right movement, and was in fact formed by social democrats and Trotskyists. In fact, the British neocons are those like Tony Blair. They were in the Labour Party. And once I explained this, apparently he thought it was a positive thing. This should give you a good idea of what these anti-Sargon leftists are like. These are the same type of fucking people that would protest a demonstration against Syrian involvement because it was dominated by alt-right fascists. Because apparently signaling their bullshit liberal ideology was more important than going after these parasitic capitalists and their neoliberal and neoconservative bureaucrat lackeys from sending proletarians to die in another conquest to build empire so the western capitalists can have access to new markets. They are also the same type of leftists, such as those at Mother Jones, who are more concerned with whether the name Tomahawk Missile is offensive. For fuck's sakes, national Bolsheviks are better leftists than you, and they want a fucking ethnostate. Jesus fucking Christ. Gulag the Kikes. Class war now. I'll be as straightforward as I can. That these capitalist shills parading as leftists need to fucking die. The left cannot be dominated by these mainstream voices. Hell, Sargon was basically my arch nemesis, and even though he thinks I am a subhuman or whatever, these people actually have made me respect him. While Sargon constantly shills against the radical left, he remains against these imperialist wars, and for that, he is admirable. And to those left-wing progressives who think the strategic support for the Syrian government is a crazy alt-right position, you clearly have not met our boy Jason Unruh, who has been speaking the truth against these imperialist shills since 2012. <laughs> Just because he's a worker, 
His job is all his own The liberation of the working class Is the job for the worker alone So left to three, so left to three To the work that we must do March on in the workers' united front For you are a worker too Mouse Rebel News fans, this is a very important day in world history. This is September the 11th, a day that will live on in infamy forever in the minds of Americans, where one day something happened that will have repercussions in American society for several years to come. And of course, this being September 11th, I am referring to September 11th, 1965, the birthday of Bashar al-Assad. Happy birthday, Assad. ترابك سوريا يحمي قائدنا بشار رئيس الجمهورية الله محيي هالجيش الحام ترابك سوريا يحمي قائدنا بشار رئيس الجمهورية الله محيي هالجيش الحام ترابك سوريا يحمي قائدنا بشار رئيس الجمهورية I'm 